Justin James here back in the garage for what's going to be a brutal workout on the K box from Eccentric. Uh, fresh off an event, so it's the first workout off an event. We're going to focus on strength today with the flywheel. It's going to be brutal. Here we go. All right, so it's a vertical day. We're gonna focus on the lower body, uh, squatting patterns, hinging, deadlifting patterns, all right? So the flywheel, if you're not familiar with it, it's a great strength training tool. So basically, as much effort as you put into it, all right, this is gonna be a very rudimentary explanation, very simple. It's gonna spin faster and faster. So the point is, okay, on the eccentric phase, the negative phase of the lift, it's going to overload you, so you've got to work extremely hard to control the momentum of that flywheel. Hopefully that was a decent explanation. I'm gonna get up here, we're gonna get started with some squatting patterns. And the beautiful thing about the K-Box, all right, I'm gonna start with one plate, and I'll just start to add plates. As much as I put into it, it's gonna kick back at me. So I don't really need to do a lot of warm up. I've already done some sled work. But we're gonna get started and uh, we will warm up gradually with the momentum of the flywheel. All right, so I use the shoulder harness. I have also a belt attachment. I'll use both. I'm using the shoulder harness today to get started. All right, I'm just gonna get this spinning a little bit and I'm gonna start to work this squatting pattern. Again, real light, nice and easy to begin with. All right, just gonna try to let the hips, the body open up gradually. This is my first set. All right, so I'm gonna do about five sets. My first two or three are gonna be relatively light. I'm gonna start to add intensity. Now, rep range today is gonna be 10. My dad would always say eight to be great. Eight to 10 to 12 reps is kind of our strength to hypertrophy zone. Harder I go up, the more the wheel turns with the more momentum, the more it's gonna suck me down, so I really gotta put the brakes on, if you will, for lack of a better term, and uh, decelerate that flywheel. All right, so I've connected the, the K-meter, which is pretty cool. The data, oh my goodness, doesn't lie. When I really compete with myself, and I'm able to see rep by rep what the wattage was, and the output. See, the force lengthening of the muscle is where the damage occurs. And we want that damage because we want the muscle to grow back bigger, better, and stronger. That's the whole point of kind of the overload or eccentric training. So the higher I bump that output, the stronger I'm getting over time. A little more force in the hole. All right, in the hole is when I'm at that deepest point and instead of letting that continue to pull me down, I really need to change directions quickly and forcefully so that in something like a vertical jump, I've got whew, that spring that I need and I can apply max force into the ground as quickly as possible. Oh, I got a late start. Let's see if I can make up for it. All right, let's turn it on. Try to progressively build. I'm not going all out from set one. That's when injuries happen. You know, this is just, I'm just working out. And Matt, the crew, are actually filming it. They'll edit it up, but at least it's somewhat real or authentic. And I'm not swinging the pink kettlebell back there and talking about how hard it is. Very efficient way to train. All right, I wonder, I'm gonna bump the weight up. All right, we're gonna add the medium. I told you guys it's gonna be short, sweet, and brutal. All right, what I'm gonna do with this weight is kind of a half or a quarter squat. All right, I've done full range. Now what I'm gonna try to do is get a ton of momentum build, built up with the weight of these three wheels. And I'm gonna to try to, in a uh, range of motion similar to a vertical jump, control that and in the hole change directions as fast as I can. 
gain a lot of strength there and learn how to absorb and hold and put force on a ton of weight. So that gave me a 66 score. So I'm gonna try to bump that up significantly. I'll get into the hundreds next set. No, I won't, but I'm focused on this short little hip extension where I'm going from here into a neutral position and those glutes turned on and fired. That concludes the squatting. Now we're gonna deadlift and try not to die.